Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Kevin Schmidt, physical therapist, uh, bike fitter, founder of Pedal PT out here in Portland, Oregon, uh, coming at you again uh, with another good tip to try to keep you guys active and healthy on the bike uh, and without pain. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the IT band uh, and IT band pain that you guys can generally get uh, when you're cycling. It's very, very common. Uh, the pain you'll typically experience with this is going to be kind of on the outside of the leg or outside of the knee. Uh, the IT band is kind of a unique structure. It's basically designed to not really stretch at all. It's basically a long piece of connective tissue that runs kind of from our knee all the way up to our hip. The times when this tends to get irritated when we are cycling has to do typically with two things. Uh, one, if your saddle is too high, what do I mean by that? If your saddle is too high and your knee straightens out too much at the bottom of the pedal stroke, you can kind of irritate that piece of connective tissue, that IT band right where it crosses your knee. The IT band is basically designed to be under tension or load the most when we our knee is straighter than about 30 degrees. So if we're pedaling and at the bottom of that pedal stroke that our knee is stretching out too much, what we can sometimes do is get a little bit of a rub on the outside of that knee. So the first thing you'd wanna check is just to make sure that your saddle's not too high. That's nine times out of 10, there's a component of saddle being too high with IT band pain. And number two is we always wanna look at your cleats, especially if you're clipping in. The common thing we tend to see is that combination of saddle being high and cleats being in too tight. If your feet are in too close, then from the width of your hips to your feet, it's angling down. So when you're pedaling back and forth at an angle like this, all that excess reach inwards is putting more stress on that IT band. Simple remedies then would be to A, lower your saddle, Slightly, I would start small, you know, five millimeters up to a centimeter, retest. If that symptoms are still there as well, what you're gonna wanna do is try to widen the width of your stance. And that can be accomplished by taking your cleats and sliding them inwards. Everything when we deal with cleat fitting is kind of opposite world. So in order to move our feet out, we need to move our cleats inward. So give those two tips a try. Uh, a lot of times if you are really tightening your hips, or have a really hard time getting your knee over the pop top of that pedal stroke at the highest point of that pedal stroke and your knees buckle out, that's another kind of cause for IT band or kind of outside of leg pain. In certain cases, you sometimes also, in order in an effort to get the feet wider, sometimes they make what's called pedal extenders, which allow you to put a little washer that's generally about a centimeter large, uh, and basically that will bring, and that hooks into your pedal, into the crank arm, which widens out your width of stance. So those are the three general things that we're gonna look at when we tend to see people with IT band pain. Uh, if you do have questions, of course, report down below. Uh, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe uh, and like, and uh, I'll keep these guys coming for you. If you do have questions, reach out to me. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.